Hey there, welcome to Technability. I am Berge. We are your source for no-nonsense tech. Check us out at technability.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have a great web series coming up called Bet You Didn't Know. Look out for that. It's, it's really awesome. It's high quality recorded. It's got some really great original tech content that I think you guys haven't seen yet. So look out for Bet You Didn't Know. Otherwise, what we're going to cover here today is the LG G2. This is the international B802 model running CyanogenMod 11 uh, KitKat 4.4.2. Now you can see basically right here, I have stock, uh, this is stock 4.2.2, which is LG's overlay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go through this process of installing CM11 while we're shooting the video. All right, so let's go ahead and load up raw manager first thing first, and boot into recovery, which you could do manually if you want. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery here, click OK. All right, you can see now it's going to uh, reboot into TWRP. All right, recovery. All right, so here we are in TWRP. All right, so um, I'm going to definitely go ahead and create a, I, well, yeah, I definitely want to create a backup here before I do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on backup. You can see it says swipe to backup. We're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to fast forward here. So uh, give me about three seconds and you guys are going to see the end of the backup. All right, so there we go, we're done with the backup. So now let's go ahead and go back here and go back again. And again, we're in Team Win Recovery. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wipe now. We're gonna wipe everything and just do a factory reset here. Okay, so go back, let's go back again. And then if you want, what you could do is go to Advanced, or excuse me, go back to Wipe, go to Advanced Wipe, and then also Wipe Dalvik and Cache. Right, we're gonna go ahead and wipe that as well. This is basically showing you guys how to install Cyanogen Mod 11. It's just a fairly easy process. Uh, rooting this phone is super easy as well. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Go to install. All right, let's go ahead and look for Cyanogen. There it is right there. CM11 Nightly. And you know, what you can basically do is just flash the Nightly D802 and then flash gaps right afterwards, which is Google Apps. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to restore the CM11 build that I already had because it's already set up. I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just restore this here, which should take about a minute. All right, and this is the LG G2, which is uh, basically running on a quad core 2.26 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 processor. It's got an Adreno 330 GPU with two gigabytes of RAM. You got a gorgeous 5.2 inch 1080p display. Uh, you got all sorts of different bells and whistles in terms of their software functionality, which obviously uh, you're, you're, most of it you're not gonna get with Cyanogen because it's stock. 4.4.2, but for the most part, I like LG's features uh, on the overlay. I really do. It kind of does feel heavy and bloated at times, but uh, there's some really cool features like the tap, double tap, which you also get with Cyanogen. We'll get into that right now. Of course, it's a very thin frame. It's 8.9 millimeters. Not the thinnest phone, but it's fairly thin in its, uh, in its measurements. And you can see you have no buttons on the left or right hand side. You have a SIM card tray. Up top, you have the uh, nothing. You have the 3.5 millimeter headphone down below the microphone and the speakers and the charging port and on the back you have the logo and the buttons which is unconventional for the most part but uh, it's something that I believe you get used to. Alright so we just went ahead and uh, re, uh, restored CM here that I had prior so I'm gonna go ahead and just restore that here. Alright you can see it loading up it's very fast to load beautiful display 441 pixels per inch 1080p it's a true IPS display meaning it has great viewing angles you can see the signage and mod logo now when you get when you first look uh, excuse me, when you first install this, it's going to ask you if you want to register to Cyanogen account. It's also going to ask you to log into your Gmail account, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Let's go ahead and up the brightness first thing first. All right, so let's go ahead and up the brightness. Okay, let's actually just lower that a little bit here. All right, you can see in terms of its uh, layout, in terms of the way that it looks, it's stock. It's stock Android, guys. Um, Basically, for the most part, it's 4.4.4, except with Cyanogen Mod Tweaks, which has always been the bread and butter for Cyanogen Mod. You can see the quick settings panel, which is customizable here with Cyanogen. Uh, if you've watched my previous CM videos, you'll know all about the customizations here, but we're gonna go through them again. Also, uh, just to mention to you guys, again, it's something that you don't get with a lot of stock builds of Android. What you do here with Cyanogen is the ability to customize uh, the quick settings panel. Again, you don't get that 
with a regular stock Android. So that's really cool. All right, let's go ahead and go through some of the wallpapers here before we do anything else. So you can see when you long press on the home screen, you get the wallpapers, widgets, and setting tab. You also get scroll effect and default screen. If we click on scroll effect, you can see rotate down, none, zoom in, zoom out. So you could change these. You could do a fade in, rotate down. Let's go ahead and just do stack here and see how it looks. All right, you can see stack, it basically looks like the app drawer the way that the app drawer is set up. And you can also do over scroll, or you could have an infinite scroll if you want to just keep going from screen to screen. Very slippery phone here. <laughs> One thing about this G2, it's a super slippery device. So if you have, um, if you have hands that are, that are sweaty or, or, or you know that your phone slips out of your hand, often this phone uh, is gonna give you issues. So let's go to wallpapers here. You can see you have the live wallpapers as well as the CM plus the regular stock KitKat wallpapers here. You can see all those down below. All right, let's go back here to CM wallpapers and you can see the wallpapers that you get. Very high quality, um, very nice wallpapers. I'm a big fan of these CM wallpapers. You got mushrooms. <laughs> I'm playing anything, but you got mushrooms. Let's go ahead and set this little signage and mod guy right here. It's blue. All right, I'm, uh, I'm a fan of blue wallpapers. I'm a fan of black phones because I like the ability to put up dark wallpaper and just kind of have it look like it's meshing into the bezel. And you can see if I put no wallpaper, literally it looks like there's no bezel on this thing. So it's quite gorgeous uh, in terms of just a plain black wallpaper because you have a gorgeous screen with gorgeous viewing angles. Uh, definitely good in direct sunlight. And with a 3000 milliamp battery, Believe me when I tell you this, guys, you will have no complaints in relation to battery life. All right, you can see notifications, very you know simplistic notifications. You can set up a toggle up here if you want uh, with various different shortcuts. Uh, you have the ability to, of course, if we go to the lock screen here, you have the ability to set lock screen widgets. Um, you have the ability to access your camera. You have the ability to access Google Now and all that good stuff. And then you can set up lock screen, uh, you can set up lock screen shortcuts here as well. You can see you have lock, unlock, um, messages, music, call, dialer, browser, etc. And the um, cool thing here with, with, with the G2 is the tap screen here. I just double tap, should be able to unlock it. There you go, all right, so double tap and it unlocks it. All right, you can see the weather widget, nothing changed here. Again, it's the stock KitKat weather app, weather and clock and whatnot. You can see the little weather pop-up comes up, Yahoo weather, whatever you set that up to. All right, let's click done. Let's go to the app drawer again, KitKat. Larger icons, you definitely got the larger icon setting here with the app drawer. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's something that, you know, I think a lot of people uh, are fans of because uh, with Android, the previous versions of Android, you had smaller icons here, you have the larger ones, so they're really nice looking. And again, Google now. Okay, Google, navigate to Pasadena, California. And it's gonna take me to where I need to go. Navigating to Pasadena. Tell me the weather. What is the weather? All right, something with the weather. Maybe my location's not set. It should be. What is six times six minus three to the second power? The answer is 27. Set reminder, tomorrow, 2 p.m., need to upload video. And if we were to go to settings here, you can see all the variety of settings. Now, before we get into that, just speed. This thing is blazing fast. This thing is so fast, so smooth. It, it literally has no lag. Um, you can see right here, just going to the dialer and dialing numbers, going to the browser, all right, exiting the browser, going to my emails, going to Hangouts here. If we want to just go ahead and type a Hangouts, hey, you know, send it, close out, literally just close out all my apps like that. Go to my notifications, check my notifications, you know, go to my camera here, which camera quality, um, for what it's worth, is decent. It's a 30 megapixel camera, but you're not gonna get all the great features that you get with G, uh, LG's camera software. And you can see if you long press, you get the front facing camera, okay. You also have the ability to, uh, you know, you got some other features here if you just click. You got to uh, enhance and whatnot, and then you can click right here. You got, you don't have Photosphere, but you have Panorama, you have camera, and you have video. If we exit out here, you can see the uh, notification down below, or excuse me, the navigation buttons down below. They go from black to transparent, and that is customizable. You can customize that as you so please. So in terms of speed, definitely this thing is blazing fast. All right, now you can see home screen. Uh, you, if you have different launchers installed, you could set those up. I have Trebuchet, and I have regular launcher. If I go to drawer or dock, nothing happens for some reason but I can go to general and then and, and it says use extra large uh, application icons in home screen and drawer, text font size, which you could adjust. Um, you got home screen options, a persistent search bar, which is the Google search bar up top. If you go back here, 
All right, you can go to log screen options, a variety of different log screen options, camera widget, clock widget, battery status, uh, slide, slider shortcuts. Again, those are the slider shortcuts that I showed you guys and you can customize those. And again, don't forget to, ch don't forget to check out technability.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got some great content and some great original content coming up very soon, guys, so look out for that. All right, if we go back. Uh, to themes. Now, if you go to the Play Store, you can download a variety of themes. Some are free, some aren't. You may end up paying a dollar, two dollars. It's well worth it for what you get. So there's a variety of different themes, including TouchWiz, Sense, all sorts of different themes. If we go to Interface here, again, go on a status bar, you can adjust the clock icon, you can adjust the uh, reception icon or the network icon. You got brightness control if you want to slide to adjust the brightness, double tap to sleep. Notification count, quick settings panel, of course, which is the two. Uh, you can either utilize two fingers, or you can set it up to have it on the right hand side of the notification, while the regular notification show up on the left hand side. All right, you can see quick pull down. I'm going to disable that here and turn it off, and I could just use two fingers. If I use one finger, I could just click up there. There it is. And you could customize this. You could see tiles and layouts. So I could remove things, I can add things. Really cool. I like that. You know, I wish stock Android came with that, honestly. Right, going back to notification drawer, you can see you have various different options here. If you quick action, quick access ribbon, so you can see the quick access ribbon you can enable. Buttons and layouts for the navigation uh, bar right here. I told you guys you can uh, adjust this and, and customize this. You could. Uh, quick launch shortcuts, of, of course, you have those as well. So it's definitely very uh, feature rich. Uh, even sound and, and display, which are normal, uh, which are normal setting options in stock Android give you some other features. You got double tap to wake, which is a normal LG G2 feature. Uh, you have the, obviously the notification lights and all that. Buttons, you can see here the power menu buttons. Obviously when you hold the power menu button, you can adjust that. So you have a variety of awesome, cool options, even color calibration. So you can even color, uh, calibrate the colors here on this thing. If you think maybe it's too yellow or too blue, well there you guys go. You have profiles, location, security, and all that good stuff as well. Um, make sure unknown sources is checked off. All right, so you even have SMS limit. Look at that. That's a, a cool feature. And I know that's a feature that's on, on other versions of Android, but SMS message limit. So variety of different options. Super user is baked in here, so it's not a standalone app in the, in the app drawer. It's actually baked in right here into the settings. And you can see if, if developer options aren't enabled, just keep clicking on build number, and you've now enabled developer options. And then there they are right there. Okay. And again, if we just push the multitasking button, push that right up there, and everything's gone. Creating folders. Easy, fast, fluid, uh, moving widgets around, resizing a widget, easy, fast, fluid. You can see the folder right there. Going into the gallery, you can see our gallery here. Just stock, stock Android gallery. Swipe up, swipe down to delete it. If we go to the photo, we could share it here. Variety of different third-party apps will sync right into here, which is awesome. Of course, you also have the editing option, so you can edit the picture in a variety of different ways add filters and whatnot and save it, do what you want, crop it, put it on Instagram, put it on Twitter, wherever you so please. That is your decision. That's the great thing about Cyanogen is they've taken stock Android and they've added a level of customization that really I think is missing from stock Android. It would really be nice if they added that level of, customize, of, of customizations, but they haven't. You can see here with the file manager, let's go ahead and exit that. All right, so going back to the uh, apps here, you can see File Manager, you can see Hangouts, so very, very minimal in terms of what you're going to get. Uh, you get Apollo, which is CM's music player. Uh, you can see it's transparent as well um, in terms of the app drawer. So Movie Studio, all, you know, basic apps that you're going to get, but really zero, and I mean zero bloatware. When you flash Google Apps for KitKat, this is what you get. All right, so you got Google Now and obviously all those other features. Now, in terms of stability, it's been pretty stable for me. I haven't had any issues with forced closing or with any uh, type of uh, bugs or lagginess. And I love the keyboard. I think Stock's keyboard and the sound that it makes is absolutely the best. It's, it's so super responsive. Um, and you can see loading up a website is fast. And of course, that depends on your network as well. We're running on T-Mobile here, unlocked on the D802. And you can see pinch zoom super fast here with the... Uh, WebKit browser, okay, and you do have reader mode on this as well, so if I click on an article, uh, you have the reader mode option, all right, you can click right here, you can see the various different options that you have, all right, check out technability.com, we've got some great content up there right now, all right, page info, and here are the tabs right here, you can see how the tabs work, you got incognito tabs as well, you can just close out of everything, you also have the ability to download Chrome if you want to use Chrome or if you're a Chrome person. Um, in terms of benchmarks, it's really not 
You know, actually, you know, let's go ahead and run a quadrant. Why not? Let me get it downloaded here. And you can see the Play Store as well, obviously. Let's go ahead and run install quadrant here. While that's installing, we'll look at a few other things here. So in terms of that Google tab that you get with KitKat on the Nexus 5, you don't have that here. But um, I, I was told by some people that there were patches and whatnot that you can install, so I'm sure that is true. All right, let's go ahead and look at the calculator here. Very simplistic calculator, because it's the stock calculator. Same with the calendar, you get the minimal calendar here. You get the colors and everything, and this is it's going to give you the holidays and all that good stuff as well. All right, go back here. I look at a few other things like, um, well, actually, you know what, before we get into, uh, I was actually going to get into something here, but let's go ahead and look at the benchmarks here on, on Quadrant. Push OK, run full. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and close out of everything here. Let's go ahead and run full benchmark. And benchmarks really depend on how much stock you put into them. Uh, it really depends on whether or not you think benchmarks are the benchmark for Android speed. Um, I've basically done benchmarks on phones that were uh, that had inferior uh, hardware, and I've had better quadrant scores. Like the HTC One has a Snapdragon 600. For whatever reason, it got better quadrant scores than the uh, Snapdragon 800 on the Nexus 5 running stock KitKat. So, really, it all depends, I guess, on the build, the software, whether it's optimized for it. On Antutu, you get pretty good scores on this as well. Um, a Sun Spider web a browser score is really good. Um, it's very fast. One of the top phones, actually top five, if you were to look at it in just in terms of Sun Spider speeds. So let's go ahead and just wait here till this is done. Click yes. Okay, 9267. And you know, that's not really that great of a score for a 2.26 gigahertz Snapdragon 800. Uh, but it's probably because KitKat or CM1 or the other is not optimized necessarily for this build. So uh, let's go back here. That's what you get with Quadrant. All right, let's go ahead and look at the keyboard here. Going back to the keyboard because I am a huge fan of this keyboard. All right, let's just go ahead and talk to Perfecto here. You got the emojis, obviously. You can see those right there, a variety of emojis. Can't spell properly, but their uh, system here is really good. Their autocorrect system. You can see right there, hey, how are you today? What's going on? Uh, very fast, very responsive keyboard. Hey, how are you today? What's going on? What are you doing? Period. Do you want to go hang out? Question mark. Let's go figure out what there is to do today. Exclamation mark. It's really nice outside. I hear Malibu is really, really uh, warm today. Do you want to go? Question mark. Send. Okay, it's going to say send. But you can see, man, the, 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 it's going to keep typing as I'm talking. So the auto, the a voice to text system is awesome. I love it on Android because it just keeps typing as I'm talking. I'm going to go back here. It's going to save that as a draft. Close out. You can go back to the multitasking. Close out. And um, again, in terms of battery life, it's solid. Uh, it really depends on how much you use it. Like we went from 90% to 85 in just this 21 minute video. But that's because we've been, you know, I've been playing around with it quite, quite extensively. You can see I'm just going through everything here. And, uh, so really, it depends on how much you use it, but you can see it's super fast, super fluid. CM is just absolutely blazing fast. Of course, with Hangouts, you have the gesture-based system here, so you can just gesture back and close. So big fan, big fan of CM. I've been for a long time. If, you, uh, if you're a fan of Technability, you know that we've done a variety of signage and mod videos and articles on technability.com. If you want to go ahead and check those out, again, they're right on the channel. You could subscribe to the channel and check out all our content from the past, present, and the future. Otherwise, this is Cyanogen Mod 11 4.4.2 for the LG G2 D802. This is a great, great ROM. It's easy to install. Uh, if you guys have any questions in relation to installation, go ahead and ask me. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching Technability. I am Barrage, and again, stay tuned. We got some great original web show content coming up very soon, guys, very, very soon. Some great information in relation to that will be coming up soon in a video that I'm gonna be doing separately, so look out for that as well. Otherwise, check out TechAbility.com, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I am Barrage. Have yourself a good weekend.